What's up everybody, it is Matt from Electric All Wheel. I am here in my favorite city in the US, Chicago, Illinois. Scott Hardesty allowed me to come join him on this adventure and we were given the privilege by Steve Goldman to check out the Wired Scout. I am going to give you a quick look inside the Wired Scout show you the controller and the balancer and the power wiring gauges for this bike and what it looks like on the inside of the controller housing and then show you the charging cable ports for the batteries as well as a couple of unique things that i really like that steve did on the upgrades for this bike while i've got a chance to have a look so let's just get to it Now, I've done this a million times, but uh, it's pretty nerve-wracking when you're working on it. You only model around, and the owner entrusts you with it. <laughs> Don't watch, Steve. Don't watch. Lord, look at the size of this thing. Ah, 72 volts, 100. So that is 10 to 100 volts on this balancer and a max 100 amps times two. That is freaking huge. 10 AWG cabling for the uh, power. Uh, looks like this may be 12 running from each battery. Holy cow. Let me get you guys a closer look. All right. Here is your balancer. It does have um, your mains, your A in, your B in, and then your out. So it looks like A is going to be the main battery running up into the main body of the frame. And then B is going to be your connection running out into the rear battery. There is your controller, branded wired e-bikes, 65 plus or minus one amp current limit. Oh my gosh, DC 72. That's what we're looking for. That's what we wanted to see. I just wanted to know what was going on in here and give you guys a sneak peek so you knew these specs were legit. Check out, now this is the Reinchen uh, 3P charge port. I'll show you this one on the rear battery so you can see it. There you go. And now here, here is your charger. Now what we're looking at here is your output. Three and a half amps. So... That'll get you charged up quick. You do get two of these for the bike, so that's good. There is no single charge port for that, but with two chargers, you can actually charge the bike faster than you would by splitting current to charge two batteries at one time. This thing is a little bit bigger, but you can see that it does have a vent fan on it. Uh, it is ready to rock to deal with the power and charge needs of the Wired Scout. Now the controller is actually affixed to the bottom and is screwed in. I can feel the screws. Where are they? Right here and here. I think there's another one. Yeah, there are three. And then these are XT90s. They look like XT90S, perhaps? No, xt 90 straight. Man, this is a... Excellent, excellent e-bike. I do like, I cannot wait to ride this in the city of Chicago. 
Special shout out to Scott Hardesty for letting me use his tools and jump into this. And another special shout out to Steve Goldman for letting me get my hands on this and do this with freedom of expression, I guess you could say. He gave me all video rights and privileges and said, just do what you want, but bring it back in one piece. And that's what we're going to do. But you guys can see, there you go, 65 plus or minus one amps that is a massive controller for this bike 2000 watt rear hub motor with 5000 watt max potential that is crazy Whew. all right let me get this thing back together Some other tidbits that I wanted to share with you guys is you can see how the rear rack has now been mounted in a much different, much safer, and much more dependable way. No longer is it the mounts like you see on the Freedom 2024 Plus, but it has extended the bars down and then they flush mount right on the seat stay of the rear of the frame. There is no light on the back, which had the two batteries. It was, uh, ex it was powered separately with those two batteries. That is now gone. There's a charge port back here. And then this housing has been shortened, so it brings the battery forward with the bike as well. And then another thing that I really like is no longer is the screw here on the headlight and the front fender um, held in with the lock nut. It only has one screw and it screws in to the fork itself. You'll also notice that the thickness of these rotors is much thicker than previous and we really like that as well. Here is your tread pattern for the tires. Uh, a lot of you may recognize this as the Ultraverse and the Allscape tread pattern, which I think is a really good choice. And it just looks aggressive and it's nice and quiet too. So we like that and it offers some good traction. Another thing that I was checking out was that there is actually a badge plate up here, but it does remove and it extends out. So you can hook up a basket and it's not going to scrape your frame. And you got the... DNM AO8RC rear shock. It's just a much better quality. This is super thick as well on the rear suspension. And then you can actually, you can tell a big difference as the, the wave moves through the frame where before you would notice more of the wave as it got shaken up front, but it's much more rigid in the body as you're riding it. So that is it's quite nice as well. I'm going to go ahead and get this crank back on here and then wrap up this video. Again, special thanks to Steve Goldman for allowing me the opportunity and privilege to get in here and show you guys this bike. It is unreal. I'll put this on. I just need to make sure that it is opposite of the other pedal. It is. Well, there it is. I am very pleased with what is going on with this bike. The changes, those subtle are meaningful and a lot of these things really matter, especially to someone like me. And uh, he even took some feedback on the brakes, which I am really, really ecstatic about. So I can't suggest enough. Check this bike out. It is exhilarating. It brings that first ride smile that you had when you first got your very first e-bike. And I can't stop thinking about it. Scott Hardesty and I, 
took it out to the steepest street in America, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And we have been on the go with this bike for a couple days now. What do you think about it? I mean, it's intimidating. Yeah? For sure. <laughs> I mean, look, man. I've done some crazy stuff as an army ranger. But I'm like, if this bike doesn't make it up, you're going back down. Special shout out to Scott Hardesty, youtube.com forward slash at Scott Hardesty. I'm here in Chicago making this video in short demand so that we can get through this bike and then take it out for a ride tomorrow. So I just want to thank him for allowing me the privilege of being here and recording this video at his home. Thank you very much, Scott. Check out all the links for the bike itself and the products that are able to accessorize this bike in the description below. We appreciate you utilizing those links as well as giving us a like and subscribe on YouTube because it is our primary. Check out the Facebook group, eBikes of Tampa Bay, Florida. Get in that Facebook group, make an event and go for a ride with your friends. We'll talk to you next time.